friends we are almost at the end of chapter 6 here we go verse 43 43rd shlok chapter 6 dhyan yog the yoga of meditation is the entire focus of the entire chapter tatra tam buddhi sanyogam labhate parva dehikam yatate cha tatah bhuyah sansiddhau kurunandana so krishna has been explaining what happens to somebody who has been trying to attain moksha but fails what happens to the efforts that he, has already, he or she has already put in through this lifetime? Does all that go into waste? Arjuna asks. So Krishna responds, no, nothing is wasted. You keep building on your efforts from this life to the next life and so on. So here continuing the theme, 43rd verse, Krishna says, Tatra tam buddhi sanyogam, by the yoga of the buddhi, intellect, right? Labhate parva dehikam. Parva, prior, dehikam, body, life, lifetime that is, from the previous lifetime, labate, obtains, yatate, by efforts, cha tataha bhuya, again, bhuya is very interesting word, bhuya means again, we never use it, we say phir se or again or, or words like that, uh, ek bar phir in Hindi or other Indian languages, but bhuya means also again, Ta yatate cha tataha bhuya, sansiddhau, to the perfection to the major accomplishments that is moksha kuru nandana kuru nandana means son kuru the lineage of kuru kuru which gives us kaurav nandan means son dashrat nandan shriram son of dashrat is shriram so here kuru nandan arjun so there he regains the knowledge derived from a former body or former life and he strives onward once more toward perfection o arjuna o kuru nandana verse 44th so by that prior experience in the prior previous lifetimes hiyate hiyate riyate sorry riyate means he can, he's conveyed he's brought avashaha api avasha is such an interesting word avashya we say avashya means necessary or compulsory or mandatory but avashya word is based on avashaha avashaha vash that you can control avash that you cannot control avashya that cannot be controlled. So necessary, compulsory, mandatory, all those meanings are attached to the word avashya, which becomes zaruri in Urdu, Arabic, Persian. Here it's avashya. So even if somebody tries to stop the progress, they cannot stop the progress because it is kind of a law of momentum. Whatever efforts you put in the previous births will push you forward for more and more progress in this lifetime. Jigyasu api yogasya Shabda Brahma Ativartate. That person goes beyond the linguistic knowledge, beyond the Vedas, Shabda Brahma. He goes much beyond the knowledge of the texts, knowledge of the scriptures. He goes towards some major accomplishment. He is carried on even against his will by prior practice. He who even wishes to know of yoga transcends Brahman in the form of sound that is Vedic recitation. Vedic recitation is just a uh, is very inferior in, in a way to attaining moksha. It is not about theoretical knowledge of the Vedas, it is about realizing the Brahman. That is what happens by your prior practice. You keep progressing towards your major accomplishment beyond lifetimes. 45th verse Prayatnad yat manastu yogi sanshuddh kil vishayhi anek janma sansiddhas tatah yati param gatim. Like just what I was explaining by the practice goes beyond multiple lifetimes through persevering effort prayatnad yat manastu by controlling the mind yogi sanshuddh kil bishay the negative karmas the evil karmas the papas the sins are purified beyond multiple lifetimes and one accomplishes the final final goal that is moksha 
right? The yogin completely cleansed of evil and perfected through many births goes to Supreme Good. Verse 46. Asvibhya adhikaha yogi yanibhya api mataha adhikaha karmibhya cha adhikaha yogi or karmibhya cha adhikaha yogi tasmat yogi bhava arjuna. O Arjun, become such a yogi. A yogi is superior to tapasvi. One who practices merely austerities. A yogi is better than that. Yanibhya api mati adhika. Yanibhya api mataha adhika. A yogi is superior to even more better than even a scholar. Karmibhya cha adhika yogi. Yogi is even beyond, even superior to somebody who is just doing a lot of actions. Tasmad yogi bhava arjuna. O Arjun, become a yogi because a yogi is superior to all other people such as somebody who is doing austerities, somebody who is a scholar or somebody who is just putting a lot of effort. So become a yogi. Krishna is telling Arjun, become a yogi, become attached to the Brahman, become connected to the Arjun, to the Brahman, realize that Brahman by becoming a yogi. And finally, the last verse of chapter 6, Yoginam api sarvesham. Mad gatehe anantaratmana shraddhavan bhajate yahamam same yukta tamahamataha. The best yogi, even among the yogis, yogina api sarvesham. Among all the different kinds of yogis, among all the different yogis, among all the yogis, mad gatehe anantaratmana, one whose inner conscience, antaratma, mad gate, is connected with my, with me, with my my condition, my situation with just simply me. Shraddhavan bhajate yomam. And one who is always devoted to me by the utmost supreme faith, Shraddha. Sa me yukta tamaha mataha. Yukta tamaha. That's the best yogi, one who is always connected with me. Of all these yogis, he who has merged his inner self in me, honors me, full of faith, is thought to be the most devoted to me. That is the ultimate kind of a yogi and that completes our sixth chapter. We will start seventh chapter on the next Sunday and so six chapters we have finished. Only 12 uh, chapters more remaining, total 18 chapters and so yoga of meditation is done, dhyana yoga is done. Thank you and Namaste.